wondering what's trending tmi socials is good morning happy new week it's a new week uh, there's a whole lot of things to talk about and uh, i'm super duper glad that you are always there to join me on this bit my name is anuoluwakbo stevens your social media guide now during the course of the weekend it was from one drummer up until another because there were so many trending just to talk about but here are five major trending stories that you should be aware of now we're really kick start with Delta State story where it says the 14 lifeless bodies of killed soldiers were in the early hours of Saturday recovered by soldiers of the Joint Tax Force under the supervision of the general officer commanding 6th Division Nigerian Army Major General Jamal Abdul Salam at Okuoma community in the Ugali South local government area of Delta State. Now, some of the recovered corpses were said to have been beheaded, while the stomachs and hearts of others were ripped off. Meanwhile, the entire communities in Bomadi and Ugeli South local government areas of Delta State have been condoled off by operatives of the 6th Division Nigerian Army, Potakot, who also oversees the 63 Brigade in Asaba, the Delta State capital. The chief of the fence staff, Christopher Musa, has ordered a probe into the tragic killing of the four senior officers and the 12 soldiers. Also to let you know on this particular story is the fact that President Bola Tinubu has also spoken on it and, you know, released press statements. If you could have that on the screen right now, he released a press statement as regards to this issue and uh, with a whole lot of lengthy thing there. And he says that definitely the culprit must be brought to book. Now let's get your thoughts on this. Ogene Ovo says, Okwama youth, waiting rich like this. These soldiers are parents, brothers, husbands, children, breadwinners, fellow Nigerians, and above all, humans. This is barbaric. Now only God fit forgive Una for this act. May the souls of the slain soldiers rest in peace. Amen. Now another reaction on this one. This person says, how possible? How can civilian kill 16 armed men? That's the question Ash Ahab is asking this morning. Another reaction still on the story. This guy says, the tragic incident in Bomadi local government serves as a stark reminder of the complex challenges faced by military personnel who risk their lives to maintain peace and security. The betrayal suffered by Lieutenant Colonel Ali and his team at the hands of the very community they sought to assist is a heartbreaking example of dangers inherent in their noble mission. Hmm. Now, may the soul of the departed rest in peace. Amen. Now, still on the story, update as regards it says, the Okwama community in Ugeli South local government area of Delta State, still on the same day, um, where 16 soldiers were killed, have been raised. That was the updated news that came after the you know, tragic incident that happened. And they said um, strong allegation that some angry soldiers may have perpetrated the act after their colleagues were killed. Now, meanwhile, manhunt for the killers is still ongoing and some arrests have also been made by the soldiers led by the general officer commanding 6th Division, Nigerian Army, Major General Jamal Abdul Salam. Now, let's have a feel of how it was like in Delta State. Indeed, a tragic, tragic incident. How did you react to this? Take a look. Olami says, I still don't understand what gave those youth that kind of audacity. Where do they get those heavy ammunition to wipe heavily armed men? I can't still get it. Why? I be Delta State who don't start their own Boko Haram group ni. Now that's the question Olami is asking. Another thought on this story still. 
Rotomi Moses says, honestly, this is not the best solution because innocent people will suffer uncommitted crimes. Hmm, indeed, indeed. Another thought on this story still. Evelyn says, instead of them to do proper investigation and catch the culprits, now innocent people will pay for what they don't know. Hmm. Oh well, and now finally on the story, official Soja Queen says, may the souls of the departed soldiers rest in peace. Thanks for the service to the nation. Now once again, may the souls of the departed rest in peace. Amen. Moving over from Delta State to here in Adel State, where gunmen have kidnapped the chairman of the Adel State chapter of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Tony Ezegwemi. He was said to have been abducted on Friday, shortly after a meeting with the Edel State Governor, Godwin Obasaki, in Benin City. Although the state police authorities are yet to comment on the incident, the Edel State Government confirmed the kidnap on Saturday. How did you react to this? Take a look. Leonard says, when will these security issues get better in this our dear country? That's the question he's asking this morning. And another thought on the story still. Okay, and Big M says, hope he regains freedom. Well, I hope so too, because um, as I said this morning, nothing has been heard from the kidnappers. There's no comment, no content made so far, but only time will tell, and we'll definitely keep you up to speed with the latest of development. Now, away from that story to Governor Soludo, where there was a trending video where he made shocking revelations and he said, and I quote, I am not being paid any salary by Anambra State Government. My wife, the First Lady of the State, doesn't have an official car. He reveals how his administration is cutting the cost of governance in this viral video. Take a look. We are intentional very deliberate about doing more with less because we are facing an extraordinary difficult circumstance in Nigeria. But you know what? Tough times demand for tough managers and tough leaders. That's why we came. That's why you employed me. And that's why we decided to lay a template to say before we even go on, it is very attractive. Every governor that comes, you know, banks flood you with offers of for borrowing and so on and so forth. But we decided for the first two years to demonstrate something. Capacity to do more with less. And so far, as has been said, for two years, despite receiving about 25% in real terms or in dollar terms of what was in the past, we've chosen deliberately not to borrow. And people ask me, I know his, my, my Lordship, uh, Bishop Ezekiel, has asked me this question more than four times. How do you do it without borrowing and with the difficult circumstances? And my answer is that we are doing so because we are executing the most austere government ever. As I speak to you, I have not... I'm not, being, I'm, not, I'm not taking any salary, I'm not paid any salary by Anambra State Government. Even the First Lady of Anambra doesn't have any official car. She still drives my personal vehicles. We are executing the most austere government ever and directing resources, cutting waste, cutting the cut of governance to bare bones and directing resources, prioritizing them to what is the most important for the people. Yes, indeed. He says he hasn't gotten his salary for two years. How did you react to this? Let us see. <laughs> right. Fashionista says, God bless you. May all the governors begin to see the lights. Amen. <laughs> and still in this bit. James Williams says, story for the gods. A very funny country. You can explain, explain, Taya. No evidence at all. At all. Moving over to another reaction, still in this bit. Now this guy says, we have enough resources to run our state without borrowing if corruption and inflating contracts are stopped. We have more than needed to run our state 
we are not poor we are blessed but the current the political okay 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 and then it went on uh, let's move over to another reaction there mm. well if you know you know on this bit now this guy says have you also received bonuses that's what he is asking this morning lewis is asking that this morning and now moving over to my final final story for today okay and then this guy obodo says leadership is not easy let's criticize constructively I totally agree with you. Criticize constructively only on TMI socials. Now, finally, Nigerians may soon be importing yam for local consumption from China. The Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, Ernest Imwahihe, has said. Now, Humahi has stated this while speaking at a stakeholders workshop on repositioning yam as an ex export crop. He lamented that despite accounting for 67% of global yam output, it was unfortunate that Nigeria is nowhere on the map of yam exporting countries. Let's take your thought on this. Sharon Olufunke says, Ah, yam from China, Bibao. A lot of farmers can go to farm because of insecurity and full any headsmen. We are blessed in Nigeria. Now, Farm Ken says, never, never, never. It won't get to this extent. I rebuke such statement. All Nigerians, please start planting yam in your small piece of land close to your house. He who has ears, let him hear. Another one in this video. still. <laughs> okay. Now, Cyril says, if we can import if we can import toothpicks and matches then nigeria should start importing water to biko watakwa yay okay moving over to another bit still on the story do we have another reaction and this guy says may we not eat rubber or chemical yam china babu yay question 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 products from that particular country but yam it's a no-no for me though well, what do you are, think they cannot go products. <laughs> china is doing well what's this right place? true importing yam from china they, it's laughable no, so we'll have a local it's yam and laughable. then we have, have china, china yam, yam. or chinese yam uh, uh, you know you 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 understand uh, yeah. the differences we have in the market we have some products and then actually this is china product you should know what that means mm -hmm. you should know what that means so i, I think it's a slap on our face as a nation if we need to probably start importing yams mm. from China. Uh, at least I, have, I was born and brought up in the north mm. and I schooled in Niger State. Lambata, for instance, you, you might not know this axis anyway. Mm -hmm. Lambata have the best yam. Where is that at? It's at, in Niger State. Niger State, Once okay. you pass through uh, Suleja, yeah. on your way to Mina, there's a place called Lambata, it's a settlement. Mm. If you see their yams, you, you fall in love with it you good yams so i don't know why should we start importing yams for crying out loud at those states alone say, let's not even go too far right. at those states here yeah, we have good yam produce but that's aside the government is battling with rescuing the state government battling to set uh, to rescue the state uh pdp chairman i mm. think security wise a lot need to be done a lot need to be done we shouldn't sure. we shouldn't dwell on it that much because if the chairman of a political party is kidnapped in Benin City, like you said, mm -hmm. then we have so many, so many things to do as far as security is concerned. We just hope uh, the abductors will release uh, the PDP state chairman because it's not going to be good for the party. Right. The party and, in power. And especially in this, you know, this terrain, period, political you know, area. You understand. You so know, if you, can, if you cannot secure your, your chairman in the party, are you trying to tell us you can secure the states? That's the question Big a lot question. of Nigerians are asking. Big question. You know? Let's go to Delta State. Hmm. Uh, it it won't be nice for uh, innocent citizens to just lose their lives. Those who actually carried out the act, go after them. Go after them. And uh, uh, there's no need uh, taking the lives of those that weren't involved. You know, I understand how it pains to lose people. Lose hmm. a colonel, two majors a captain and all that mm. and some soldiers well it's disheartening uh this to show you how our architect our security architecture has really really loosened mm. really sorry i know we'll be seeing you tomorrow yeah.